Hello, greetings and welcome to the renovated island of Boracay in the Republic of the Philippines. I really do enjoy traveling the world and sharing the footage with all of you through the lens of my camera. All my videos are copyrighted and YouTube does not have my permission to play boring commercials on my channel. Take notes because we will have a lot of good information as always for you. On this occasion, we'll visit the beach of Cuda, go snorkeling with colorful fish, and enjoy the most spectacular mermaids we've ever seen during our travels. We'll also take a tour to the island of Crystal Cove and visit its caverns where the ocean waves enter with all of their power. A special thanks to Sock for helping me with the translation, proofreading, and voiceover of this documentary. Additionally, enjoy the tropical rhythms at the Boracay Salsa and Bachata Festival and the company of the most talented and beautiful dancers with whom I have ever danced. Then, we will show you a zip line, ATV, and kayaking tour in the mountains of Caticlan. And we will record the most spectacular sunsets on this planet that includes the Sail Boats Show. We will catch a glimpse of the nightlife of Boracay and its talented performers, and for lovers of kite surfing, we'll take you to paradise. Have all of the details for the ferry transfer and transportation to your hotel upon arrival at Boracay Airport, and general information about the island to use during your stay in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Finally, a quick summary of our prior visit to El Nido and Puerto Princesa from a few years ago. Are you ready? Let's start now! This is Easy Track 360. Let's go! Our first tour includes a trip to the farming mountains in Caticlan, where a zip line of 300 meters one way and 200 meters back, Superman style, awaits you. It's been specifically designed for first timers and it has a mild level of complexity. This tour costs $50 or about 2,500 Philippine pesos, and it does not include the ATV, which has an additional cost of $20, so you can get bogged down for 30 minutes. Also, this tour does not include lunch. At 9 in the morning, you approach the pier on the white beach with our guide. The presence of tourists is massive even though the high season of tourism has not yet begun. We traveled during the last weeks of February, taking advantage of the end of the rainfall season in South Asia. The high-speed boat transports you to Cataclan, the city in which the airport is located. After a 15-minute walk, a minivan awaits you to transport you to the resort. As I mentioned before, the zip line was for beginners, especially compared to those we've ridden in the Huasteca Potosina in Mexico. It was very easy for me, but it was still an exciting experience. Then you will have access to an hour of kayaking in an area of 100 meters only. Super boring. You cannot pass the rope that borders the other resort. So when they yelled at me as I was passing the border rope to stop, as a good Colombian I answered it, the water is the property of the Republic of the Philippines. And just continue paddling upstream. They also have a trampoline to jump into the river, but as it rained the days before, the water was not clear. Restaurant service is available here. Around noon, the tourists began to arrive little by little, like these muddy girls from Australia who just finished their ATV adventure. The ATV was really, it was really cool. very dirty and very messy. messy. Meanwhile, I noticed how a gentleman with a malicious smile was setting fire to the woods beneath the giant pots and pans. Oh my god, my ass is cooking. <laughs> Uh, this is a very original jacuzzi, uh, relaxing. It brings me a lot of memories from Colombia when I was a little boy. Live and music brings life into the atmosphere. There is no time limit to stay in this area, but we return to Boracay because of the threat of rain. It's a very pleasant place to visit among friends, and the prices drop as the number of tourists in your group increases. Boats full of travelers arrive for the different resorts in the area in the afternoon as the guide returns us to the pier. Before the pandemic developed, this important tourism center was renowned for its beaches full of garbage and its waters loaded with sewage bacteria. During the period of time when the government of the Philippines closed the island, 
and with the help from the community, cleanup crews began removing tons of garbage from the sea and designed a better drainage system. That's why the production of this documentary, we enjoyed a refreshed island. Bali me gustó mucho, es toda la energía. Malasia baila muy bien, me encantó. Singapur es una ciudad increíble. Luego está Tailandia, que es mi amor. Tailandia es mi, mi corazón, one love. Y como dice Pitbull, y en Miami tengo a cualquiera. <laughs> Pero Baracay, Baracay me ha impresionado la playa, loco. La playa después de Varadero. Our next tour is to the spectacular island of Crystal Cove. With a cost of 900 pesos, or $18, it includes a buffet lunch. At 9 o'clock in the morning, we meet in the provider's booth where we make the payment. Be careful here because it's very easy to lose the direction of the group and end up on the wrong boat. Our first stop is West Cove at Borangai Balabag. Here we find the ruins of what is formerly a luxury resort that operated without an environmental permit that the government had discovered during the pandemic. The waves are somewhat strong here. I don't think it is a good place to swim, much less leave your children without any attention. Do not forget river shoes for these trips, otherwise you will pay the painful price while walking on the rocks. After the ruined resort, we stopped for a while to snorkel with corals at a depth of 5 meters. The colorful fish were a little shy. Uh, do not forget to bring bread or bananas to keep the tiny fish near you. On this occasion, we are not as lucky and we did not discover the presence of beautiful mermaids, but later in this documentary, I guarantee that we will find them. Keep in mind the snorkeling masks have an additional cost, but it is minimal. It is time for a buffet-style lunch. We arrived at the beach of Tambisan and for an hour we could eat as many times as we wanted. That's music for my palate. When I left the restaurant, the chef shouted at me, Do not ever come back again! <laughs> this is the second time I visit the Philippines. It's a very nice country. People are very welcoming. And uh, your money worth a lot here. So this tour is good. It has more stops also include lunch and uh, the only thing the wind is very strong today uh, which makes uh, the waves a little higher so that's something that uh, we have to take into consideration but uh, it's nice to have a breeze during uh, a hot day. Our fourth and final stop was to the Crystal Cove Resort, a spectacular island for photography and celebrating that magazine cover wedding. It has an additional cost of 300 pesos, or if you prefer to stay on the beach, there's no cost. The Crystal Cove has two caves, and you just need to simply follow the signage. When descending inside the caverns, the staircase will help you to descend, but it is very small. The tour gives you 45 minutes to visit them, so be sure to walk fast so you can enjoy all the spectacular views during your journey. Also, be sure to keep a good idea of the time or the boat will depart without you. So tell me, uh, do you like the Philippines? Do you like this tour? Yeah, 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 of course, yes. Yes, it's very nice place, very nice country, very nice people, lovely people here. Yeah. Is this is something that you recommend to other tourists around the world? Of course, yes, yes, yes. It's a very nice place. This is the, the one, the best place this in, in, in the world, this one. This Boracay and uh, Balawan. Finally, the boat heads to Boracay to finish the tour. The sunsets in Boracay are spectacular, courtesy of our own star, the sun. The sunset is accompanied by a parade of more than 50 sailboats that cross the bay in a perfect show for lovers of photography. You can rent the sailboats here too. It was an unforgettable experience to enjoy the sunset while dancing a salsa bachata in the company of beautiful ladies. And since we are talking about dancing during the last week of February, Boracay hosts its own tropical music festival, the main reason for our trip during this season. Every night the meeting point was in Chacha's bar. For 25 years, I guess, I used to live in Beijing. And universe brought me here. Sometimes people ask me why I chose Boracay. And I always answer that Boracay chose me, because three years ago, Right before the pandemic starts, I was planning to come uh, for Latin Dance Festival. Actually, today there is another festival, and um, I don't know what I was thinking at the time. I just came directly from Thailand here, 
and China closed the borders. And now I'm living here. This is paradise, you can see. There, everybody began to warm up their bodies, preparing for the gala night being held in the convention center of Paradise Gardens, where we enjoyed the choreography and unique flavor of artists who love tropical music. Before and after each of the shows, as is typical in any tropical music social, the dance floor is open to savor the rhythms of salsa, bachata, and kizomba. The next morning, we had the opportunity to board the party boat with a cost of 800 pesos. We left at 9 in the morning to Puka Beach, where for an hour you can enjoy the sand, music, and rumba. During the tour, the different DJs were alternating until it was my turn. And with good music playing, everybody on the boat began dancing. Then we arrived at the snorkeling area, which contained corals at a depth of 5 meters. Our cameras captured the most beautiful mermaids my lens has ever recorded. After an hour and a half of fun and rumba, we headed back to the pier. This tour does not include lunch or snacks. And what are you expecting for 800 pesos? So always bring water and your favorite cocktails during all your tours. I meant to say snacks. <laughs> we're very happy. Um, even if we are going through tough times, we seem to be smiling. We're very hospitable. We love people to come and visit our country, show off our, our beautiful uh, tourist spots, uh, our food. So what are you drinking this morning? Some taho. It's a, it's a snack, Filipino snack, it's very sweet. How you call it? Taho. Taho? Yeah. All right, and uh, what is inside? Don't ask me. No. <laughs> but uh, they but it's some, a sweet. Some sugar, yeah, it's sweet sugar, some uh, jelly stuff, and uh, yeah, it gives you some energy for sure, definitely. The nightlife in Boracay has diversity for all tastes. There is live music courtesy of talented Filipino artists who take you through a variety of genres throughout Playa Blanca. We would like to thank each of the restaurants and their artists for allowing us to record them without restriction. It is very common that our cameras are not welcome in the other countries when we want to present their talent to the world. While walking along the beach, we heard an angelic voice standing out among the different artists in the area, and to our pleasant surprise, we met Joshua. This young artist has a majestic voice, definitely a unique talent. After 10 p.m. and onwards outside the bars and clubs in Playa Blanca, you can find good company for those needing a dance partner. For lovers of kite surfing, this is paradise almost all year round. Bulabog Beach has the perfect conditions and wind gusts for this sport. La, además el aire que hay aquí se llama Alisio, es un aire que hay en pocos lugares del mundo y siempre viene en esta dirección, entonces hace que la cometa sea más fácil de manejar y siempre va hacia la costa con lo cual no hay peligro de que te vayas a hacer a la forma de mar. Algo que noté, uno de estos chavos se subió más de 15 metros, oh, y, ¿eso es bajito? Y, es, y los hay más bestias, sí, 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 sí. depende, hay varios tipos, está free ride, freestyle, o con wind, wind foil, que es lo que van algunos chicos por ahí. Free ride es simplemente deslizarte, freestyle es saltar, hacer un montón de virguerías. Y hay saltos espectaculares, de 100, 120 metros, han llegado a 130 metros aproximadamente, el récord del mundo creo que está. To get to Boracay, you must first land in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Immigration requires a QR code that you receive by completing a form online before traveling. No visa is required if you're traveling from the United States. Download the Grab application so that you have access to the equivalent of Uber or Lyft of Asia. Also remember to get your SIM card at the airport for Wi-Fi connectivity during your stay. There are two airports for your arrival to Boracay, the airport of Caticlan, which is the closest and fastest to transfer you to the ferry. 
The second is Calibo Airport, in which you must take an additional land transport for two hours by bus. When you arrive at Caticlan, take a moto taxi or a minivan to the ferry. Upon arrival at the terminal, there are two stations, one for the exclusive resort and the second to Boracay. The terminal has a cost of 300 pesos that you must pay at window 7. Then at window 8, there is an additional cost of 150 pesos that we were unsure of its purpose. To return from Boracay to Caticlan, the same process apply. It costs the moto taxi 100 pesos from your hotel to the ferry. Then you have to purchase the ferry ticket and access to the terminal. Very important. Once you have your tickets, you have to wait an additional line where you'll fill out an exit or entry form to Boracay, and that is where you're assigned the seat number on the boat. Now, if you're traveling to one of the exclusive resorts, the process is different. Simply choosing how much money you want to make it rain will determine where you stay, but the sun, as well as the sea, will always be the same. The currency exchange during the production of this documentary was 54.95 Philippine pesos for one dollar. Important! When you arrive at the International Terminal of Manila, do the currency exchange right there. At the exit of the carousels on your left hand side, there are currency exchange stands. The exchange booths in Boracay or Manila will pay lesser currency value. In addition, the denominations that are less than $100 have a different value, and also make sure that each bill is impeccable without stains or marks because they'll not take bad bills, nor will they during the tours. The Asia Mall previously gave you an excellent exchange rate, but it does not anymore. Remember, once you leave the airport, the exchange rate goes down. Also at the Mall of Asia, you must present your passport or they'll not exchange your currency. There are no beaches in Manila, and its activities are mainly concentrated between dining and shopping. A few areas that stand out are Intramuros, an important point to know for its history. The exclusive BGC area where shopping centers and restaurants are located, and Burgos Street for adult entertainment if you feel lonely. For more information on other places of interest such as El Nido in Palawan and Puerto Princesa, visit our number one Philippines documentary. El Nido offers you tours to its different islands, snorkeling and diving, as well as its zip line at Cabana Beach and its spectacular view. Puerto Princesa offers you its majestic caverns in the Underground River National Park. The Republic of the Philippines has destinations for all tastes and budgets, as well as friendly, warm and kind people. Your money yields considerably here. The sunsets are romantic and unforgettable, as long as it's not the rainy or the famous monsoon season. Many thanks to all the local people and tourists who took part in this documentary. The Philippines will receive more visits from us so we can continue to enjoy their iconic destinations. If you have a positive or constructive message, please share in the comments. The negative messages you can keep to yourself. Explore the world through the lens of my camera. This is Easy Track 360. Yeah!